In my view, there's only really one, apart from this one, proper good translation of Kodavani, and that's the Frank O'Connor translation. Um, the other translations I have read, there's... I disclaim all responsibility for what we're about to do here in these places, because this is a very earthly, body piece of work. Uh, but the, the reason uh, some of the other translations don't work for me is that sometimes they go across the line from earthiness, body, as that wonderful, life-affirming, uh, uh, Rabelaisian feel to, to me of vulgarity. And there is a line, and I hope my translation has never, never, never crossed that line. And uh, the other reason, obviously, is that we were doing a sort of overall, all, we're only going to say five or six minutes out of this, they're just two, two separate speeches of it. And uh, I, I'll just give you the context of it later. But the other reason is that, obviously, if you're doing a dramatic, trans, a, a dramatic adaptation of something, you are going to have to play around with the structure of this. And uh, we certainly, and certainly I wouldn't do that with somebody else's work, particularly Frank O'Connor's work, and you're, of course you have all sorts of um, copyright and rights problems as well. So that was, the, they're the main, the two reasons for, for the new translation. Now, just to, to give anybody in, uh, who doesn't know, very, very briefly, uh, Kurtavani, which I translated, my, my English version is called The Land of She, which is a kind of play on the fact that the, the court is run by the Queen of the She, and also it is all about women taking the men of Ireland to court in the 18th century, and how should I put this delicately, for their um, reluctance to marry, and even after marriage, their inability to bed. So that's basically what this is all about. And uh, during the course of the, the court, the the men of Ireland are being tried in their absence, of course, and they are definitely going to be found guilty uh, on both counts. But for some reason or another, there's, a, a very, there's now a fellow who arrives at the place and he tries to put forward a defence of the men by basically saying that that's not the way it is because he's married to this woman and all women are sluts, they're only after the one thing. And if he does, then there's a young woman there who gets up and absolutely has a go at him for uh, this. So we're just going to do those two speeches. Uh, so I thought we're only going to be about five minutes. I could give you a bit of, a, a bit of an intro. Um, uh, now, this old fellow is uh, supposed to be well in his 70s. So now, in, in view of my extreme youth, I'm now going to have to get into a sort of 70s. Oh, and put on an old voice, uh, things like that. So, um, uh, I start and then she has to go with me after that. So, thank 